Erase principle is based on the concept of ultraviolet light. Let's understand this. When you want to erase this ROM, in this case EEPROM is what we are talking about, right? You have to expose this memory cells to ultraviolet light. Basically what you have to do is, you have to take this chip, expose it to ultraviolet light through a glass window which is present at the top of the chip. So there is an IC or there is this chip on present on top of it there is a glass window so you have to take out this chip through the glass window expose it to ultraviolet light the ultraviolet light which is present right will increase the conductivity of the silicon dioxide surrounding the floating gate so once the conductivity of the silicon dioxide surrounding the floating gate is increased it will allow all the charge that was trapped onto the floating gate to be released and now you can turn on your transistor, there's no charge on the floating gate, so it behaves like a normal transistor and you can turn on your transistor with a normal threshold voltage. So basically what we saw is, we have to remove the entire chip, we have to expose it to UV light through the glass window which is present at the top of it and when that happens, the UV light will increase the conductivity of the silicon dioxide surrounding the floating gate which will lead to the floating gate losing its charge which it had trapped. Now, what is the catch here? What is the drawback? Technically, this process will take up to some time, less than an hour. Now, the catch here is when you remove the chip and expose it to ultraviolet light to erase, you have to erase the entire part of the chip and you cannot erase a part of the chip or a part of the program. So, when you erase, the entire memory has to be erased and then again, you have to reprogram the entire memory, which is ideally not a good idea. So, in order to do part erase, part erasing particular part of the memory and not doing it through ultraviolet light but through electrical phenomena we go to the next type of memory which is double EEPROM or electrically erasable programmable read only memory so let's quickly go ahead and see that so the next one is double EEPROM electrically erasable programmable read only memory this will operate on a phenomena call as fallen northern tunneling hot again it will be having a floating gate but with a slight variation in the hot electron effect or the channel hot electron injection we saw that this was the floating gate right and we also saw that this floating gate due to hot electron effect will trap the charge which will increase our threshold voltage greater than vdd now what change do we do in fallen northern tunneling is or tunneling oxide MOS is See my polygate shape changing. Initially, my polygate was like this. Uh, I pick your pardon over the drain and the source. Now, towards the drain side, what change I'm making is I'm reducing the TOX. If you see here, here the TOX was this much, this much at the drain side. Here it would be a channel, right? If it's formed. So here it was this way. Here I have reduced the thickness oxide drastically near the drain side. Now see, let's see what happens. Again, in the basic clips, you have understand that if we have a very thin oxide. And if we have a high gate voltage, then gate tunneling will take place because of E vertical electric field of the vertical side, which is given by VGS by TOX. So we are going to use this phenomena to understand the programming of double EEPROM or we'll understand fallen northern tunneling and then extend it to understanding double EEPROM. So now let's say case one is we apply a positive voltage at the gate. When I apply a very high volume, something around 20 volts at the gate, because this oxide is so thin near the drain side, right? And we know that gate tunneling can happen. The electrons will move, will get attracted towards the gate and will get trapped in the oxide. So the difference is you don't need to do hot electron here. What you need to do is keep this node floating, keep the drain grounded. Now drain is grounded, gate is as a positive value. When gated as a positive value, small value nearly equal to zero or technically equal to zero only. When gate is at a very high value, what happens is because of gate tunneling, the carriers will tunnel through the oxide because of oxide thickness is reduced drastically. So it becomes easier for the electrons or the carriers to tunnel and they will get trapped on the floating gate. And we know that when it gets trapped, again, we can go ahead and increase my threshold voltage to be greater than VDD. And now we know, right, it does not turn on even if VDD is applied. So case one programming, we follow a phenomena of gate tunneling in which the gate voltage is put to a very high value and the drain voltage is zero so the electrons will tunnel. Now this process takes place because of the tunneling oxide when there is a, such a thin oxide we can also call this as a tunneling oxide MOS 
and this tunneling is so small that electrons move faster towards the floating gate and hence the tunneling oxide process is fast. Now case 2 when you want to erase, see this is electrically programmable right, how did we program? By putting a higher value at the gate say around 20-25 volts and a lower value at the drain. So electrically we could program it. Now let's see how we can electrically erase it. To erase this memory what you need to do is exactly opposite phenomena to what you did for programming. So what you are going to do is make your gate voltage zero, put a very high drain voltage. Now what's going to happen is the electrons which are trapped here now would be because of the electric field be attracted towards the drain side or for that matter would be attracted. See the tunneling oxide is very very thin right and now there is a high voltage here so electrons will get attracted towards a positive terminal and in this process they will come back to your semiconductor and in this way whatever charge was present initially because of programming you can easily erase that charge. So this is nothing but electrically erasable programmable read only memory for erase and programming you are just playing around with the gate and drain voltage for erasing we just saw that put a high drain voltage put a low gate voltage nearly equal to zero for programming put a very high gate voltage put a drain voltage nearly equal to zero now let's see the structure of double eprom 